Hey everyone and welcome to the channel and today I wanted to re-go over the gameplay leaks for Dragon Age Dreadwolf which involved gameplay footage, screenshots, captured like in-engine footage and story beats. So if you don't want to be potentially sport for Dragon Age Dreadwolf, this is your warning now. Also, I won't be actually showing any of the gameplay, screenshots or story elements in this video as it may result in this video being taken down, but sources will be linked in the description below. So let's get on with it. Video footage and images from Bioware's upcoming game, Dragon Age Dreadwolf, have surfaced online last year in February 2023. Now I did go over these on the channel back then, but I wanted to re-go over them just because a lot of people in my comment section and on my live streams and things like that don't even know that this leak happened and don't know what it was about. So I wanted to go over the leak that prompted EA to attempt to remove and suppress all the leaked content from the internet, which didn't work as, as you know, the internet is the internet and everything like it spreads like wildfire in terms of leaks. However, this could actually be a positive development considering it was an organic method to generate excitement for a game which has been shrouded in mystery. Bioware have been really tight-lipped on Dragon Age Dreadwolf, I suppose they're you know, waiting for the right time, but leaks when not revealing crucial story elements such as the ending or the beginning and things like that can actually serve as effective viral marketing tools, but on the other end of the spectrum it's actually really sad because you have developers who have poured hours and hours and maybe years years into their life into a project only for it to get leaked out because you know things happen there's hacks there's data breaches or employees are just sick and tired of not actually you know being able to say what the game is about and they actually spread the leaks themselves i've seen it happen with square enix capcom other companies where employees have actually gone out and spread information Originally leaked on Reddit and shared by Insider Gaming as well as other news outlets at the time, the leaked footage supports earlier speculations that Dreadwolf would actually depart from the traditional RPG pause and play style seen in Dragon Age Origins and Dragon Age 2, leaning more towards a hack and slash approach, think of maybe God of War and Final Fantasy XVI. The game appears to be more noticeably more action oriented compared to its predecessors. A Reddit user provided insights into the gameplay details, emphasising the following key points. Now by the way, before I get into these points, again all of the sources will be linked below, so go check them out if you want to see the leaks yourself. So first off, the combat is entirely in real time, resembling a hack and slash style, drawing inspiration from both Final Fantasy XV, XVI and God of War 2018. The player possesses a regular combo attack, various abilities, and a special bar for executing powerful enemies. Party control was not demonstrated, indicating a likelihood that players won't directly control their party members. However, the ability to command specific actions for certain party members similar to Mass Effect may still be available. Since Dragon Age Inquisition, obviously we've had a slew of brand new consoles, so animation and graphics in general in terms of quality has significantly improved, offering fluid and responsive character control, a departure from the stiff tank-like animation seen in previous Bioware games. Again, this is the leak talking, not me. Jumping has retained from Dragon Age Inquisition, so if a lot of people are upset about jumping, there you go. And finally, the main playable character, equipped with a sword and shield, can parry attacks and counter, with detailed descriptions of specific abilities. Another thing to note that the UI, while looking very similar to Dragon Age Inquisition, is expected to undergo finalisation changes this year when Bioware show off the game. And as we know that Dreadwolf is getting its full reveal this year in 2024, by the way stay subscribed to the channel as I will be covering that in detail. The player character's appearance, including hair, exhibits a massive improvement from Dragon Age Inquisition and you know, Origins and 2 obviously. Notably, enemies in the leaked content are variations of Darkspawn, with the inclusion of a dragon exhibiting red lyrium powers. As reported by Jason Schreier in Bloomberg back in February 2023, the game initially included multiplayer components but has then been scaled back to focus on a single player experience. A release for those who, so it's, it's a massive relief to be fair for me and other fans who are concerned about the potential negative impact of a live service model on the RPG and single player genre as Bioware have tried this in the past with Anthem and it just didn't work because the whole point of a live service is you've got to draw players in immediately it can't be you know several months down the line it has to be there and then or else for example Anthem the game just dies off 
Also very similar to reports to what we heard with the next Mass Effect game where apparently the game early on in development was considered to have multiplayer and live you know, service elements such as maybe, I don't know, like an in-game currency and things like that, but it's been scaled back in favour of single player which is really good because if they could nail the single player campaign then maybe later in like a future update or DLC they then maybe introduce multiplayer and I would rather have that in my opinion. The other takeaway from this as well is that multiplayer and live service elements also take away from development time. So hopefully with, you know, scaling back on that, the game comes out a bit sooner, perhaps maybe next year or so well, next year. Sorry, this year. I keep forgetting we're in 2024 now. So in summary, Dragon Age Dreadwolf seems to draw inspiration from God of War 2018, Final Fantasy 16, 15 and Final Fantasy 7 remake in terms of combat, graphics and gameplay. The shift towards a more action oriented style represents a significant departure from the series established norms of Dragon Age Origins 2 and Inquisition. While the release date remains uncertain, the anticipation for a potential 2024 launch is building. Myself and the rest of the sort of Bioware community are hopeful that this new direction will breathe fresh life and air into the beloved Dragon Age franchise. So before we go any further, I would like to talk about my own personal thoughts around, around this leak and sort of what's going on with Dragon Age Dreadwolf. So regarding this, for me personally, I'm more of a fan of action hack and slash games. I know Dragon Age fans are going to be sort of foaming at the mouth to hear that, but I love games like Bayonetta, DMC, God of War, the newer Final Fantasy games, but I love, love all the Final Fantasy games to be honest. But in regards to Dragon Age specifically, is this gameplay a match? Well, obviously we're going to have to wait and see for Dreadwolf coming out, but from making videos on Dragon Age for the past sort of year or so, a lot of my comments and subscribers and fans of my live stream have all pointed out that this is a massive departure. Now, I've only played Dragon Age Origins start to finish and I've played a little bit of Dragon Age Inquisition. So obviously more hardcore Dragon Age fans are going to be able to comment more on this than me. But it sounds like a lot of people are angry because the game is losing what it was as it roots and a classic very hardcore RPG. Now personally I do think that simplifying the game can be good, but if you simplify it too much then it's going to sort of drive hardcore Dragon Age fans away because they're there for that hardcore sort of RPG elements with loads of stats and complicated elements and if it just becomes a hack and slash game then it's just going to be boring for them. Personally I think the sort of best way to do this is to marry the two you know, gameplay formats, but whereas you make a sort of hack and slash game with RPG elements, but those RPG elements are sort of very complicated at their core and can do, you know, lots of stats and buffs. Maybe they introduce like DD elements like persuasion and things like that. Again, though, we're going to have to wait and see how this pans out. As for the whole thing, you know, all the things with regarding companions, in Dragon Age games of old, you could control your companions directly, sort of like how you can in Baldur's Gate 3, for example. It's a, you know, it's a little bit different, but hear me out. So, personally, I'm not too bothered by the fact that we're not able to control our companions. You're not able to do it in Mass Effect, and I'm more of a Mass Effect fan personally. But for Dragon Age, I guess like for Dreadwolf specifically, I'm not too bothered. Just purely for the fact that when I play an RPG like Baldur's Gate 3 or Dragon Age, I usually just play as my own playable character because it's my adventure. I want it to feel like it's you know my personal journey. Obviously, I will switch to certain characters when it's needed, but for the most part, I will just play as myself. But obviously, that's my own personal opinion, and a lot of people will want to play as their companions, which is completely fine. I think to get rid of it as a whole is a bit of a step back. I think if it was, you know, toned back a little bit, I think that's fine, but personally, I don't think it's going to draw away from the game too much. So anyway guys, this was just a recap of all the gameplay leaks from last year, and who knows, we might even see more gameplay leaks going into Dreadwolf's full reveal this year. Tell me in the comments below, what did you think about the gameplay leaks from last year, and what do you think they mean for the Dragon Age series going forward? Because obviously, those leaks are fully available online if you go on YouTube, or if you just Google Dragon Age Dreadwolf leaks. The gameplay videos are all there, including all of the images and story elements. I think even a bit of the script got leaked, so if you guys want to go check that out, you can do. It's online and it's free for all. Anyway guys, for more Bioware, Mass Effect and Dragon Age content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!